U.S. carrier Hornet, sea base of the 16 bombers which raided Tokyo, and cryptically referred to by President Roosevelt as Shangri-La, the fictitious land in James Hilton's novel Lost Horizon. Official films now disclose the events which led to Tokyo's first air raid. The carrier and her escort were spotted by an enemy patrol some 800 miles from the Japanese mainland. During the engagement, the Jap vessel was sunk by gunfire, but not before radio warning could have been flashed to Tokyo. The intention was to get within 400 miles of the target, but because of the premature discovery, the bombers had twice the distance to cover. Jap survivors were picked up, a humane action which found no parallel in Tokyo, where captured American airmen were brutally put to death. The 80 pioneers of other raids to come assembled on the deck, while General Doolittle, anxious to get closer to his target, asked for an hour and a half longer. The Hornets commander had a Japanese decoration. He sent the medal back to Tokyo by express delivery. Doolittle and his five squadron commanders. Then came the signal for takeoff. The first plane away was piloted by Jimmy Doolittle himself. With flaps down and front wheel up for maximum lift, the Raiders took off into a howling wind. They went to deliver America's first air blow against the heart of the Far Eastern enemy. There's an anxious moment as one plane seems as if it may plunge into the sea, but it recovers and is on its way. On to Tokyo. The Jap capital, where resistance was incapable of meeting the needs of the moment. Military targets were scrupulously selected. The Imperial Palace was seen, but carefully avoided. The defense system, as they are here seen practicing it, was disorganized and in a panic. Today, Mr. Churchill says the joint air power of Britain and America will be directed against Japan in force. In China, after bailing out by parachute, 64 men were decorated by Madame Chiang Kai-shek. Of the men who were murdered, these words were spoken while the ghastly facts were then unknown. We all feel pretty strongly about these boys that we were with. We had all been pretty close large family, or almost like brothers. We'd known each other from a year to a year and a half before this raid ever came off. We knew their families, their children, and if there's any way to get even, we'll certainly try. News has been